Hi, I'm Brian Corrigan, Publishing Director here at PUBG Studio. We've been blown away by the tremendous support and curiosity following the reveal of PUBG New State in February. We know you're hungry for more details. Rest assured, we're very excited to talk about all the new features and mechanics in New State. Over the coming weeks, we'll be releasing a series of videos, or what I like to call field trips, to better prepare you for Crafton's newest Battle Royale experience. While New State is a fresh take on the Battle Royale genre, we haven't lost sight of what makes the PUBG experience so unique. New State inherits and improves on the established PC console foundation with a fresh, near-future twist. And that near-future angle? It's given us tons of opportunity to innovate. You probably noticed some crazy new mechanics and features in the trailer. And yes, they're all real. You're gonna love the new options and tools we've developed to aid your survival experience on Troy. A brand new, massive, futuristic, 8x8 map built from the ground up, utilizing groundbreaking lighting and rendering technology, developed in-house that raises the bar for graphics and performance across the mobile space. So without further ado, let's begin our field trip into Troy and gather some intel to give you the competitive edge of the locations you'll soon be fighting over. Our first stop is the exhibit hall, the heart of Troy. From the top, it kind of looks like a bullseye, right? You're probably noticing the wide open air center, and I'm sure your palms are getting sweaty thinking about the hot drops that'll take place there. But looks can be deceiving. The different levels of verticality provide options for all play styles. Got good aim? Land on the roof and be ready to prove it quickly. Prefer stealthy play? Drop below and use the bulletproof glass overhead to protect yourself as you plan your ascent. There are many other dynamic features to discover around the exhibit hall, but I don't want to spoil them all. Let's move on to the next stop on our tour. The mall. The mall features a similar dynamic to the exhibit hall with an open roof and wide spaces, but this location, it's all about positioning. Each store has its share of advantages and disadvantages to account for as you size up the competition. The roof gets hot, but if you survive it, there are many ways to snake around and flank your indoor enemies, crushing them from the perimeter. If you're on the lower levels, the honeycomb architecture and bulletproof glass will give you the angles you need to secure your chicken dinner. Personally, I love holding the escalators, another fun element to strategize around. They're fully functional and directional, so be sure to choose the right direction or you'll risk losing precious speed and become an easy target. Moving over to the laboratory, with four levels of intense enclosures and corridor warfare. With its unique structure, ensuring your team's survival in the laboratory will take a great deal of cooperation and creative thinking. The central area is encased in bulletproof glass, so you're safe as long as you don't come out or they don't come in or the blue zone doesn't get you. For the last stop on today's tour, let's take a look at the trailer park. Or at least that's what it used to be. Now it's all bunkers and bullets here. You'll have to vault, sneak, and climb to conquer this spot. But if it's not looking good and you need a quick exit, use the ramp at the end of the runway to jet out of trouble. And with that, we've reached the end of the field trip. But stay tuned for the next episode where we'll dive into more features. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to follow our social channels for further updates, and we'll see you on the battlegrounds.